Hey, this is Adam Driscoll, and I am going to show you how to install and configure Oh My Posh for Windows. Um, so, Oh My Posh is a prompt theme engine for your shell. Uh, it works cross platform and kind of in any shell you want Bash, ZSH, PowerShell, that kind of thing. Um, and today we're going to install it on Windows, and then we're just going to download a pre existing theme and um, kind of see how that works. So I won't really get into the customization of Old My Posh, but I'll show you how to get it installed and get it configured and up and running. So first of all, we're going to install it, and I'm just going to use Scoop. So Scoop install Oh My Posh. So that's going to go out, download and install Oh My Posh, and now I can start to configure it. So um, in order to configure it for uh, PowerShell, we can put it in our profile for the startup. So I'm going to just open code profile and you can see I have an empty profile here. So um, now we want to run oh my posh um, when our profile starts up. So we need to call oh my posh and we're going to do a knit pwsh. Um, you want to specify which you know uh, shell you're using and then from there I can pipe that to um, invoke expression. So it's going to it's going to return some PowerShell script that's going to configure my um, my profile for PowerShell. So now if I actually open a new console, you're going to see it runs oh my posh, but um, it doesn't look very good. Uh, it's kind of got these blocks and that kind of thing. Um, and uh, that is because I don't have a nerd font installed. Um, by default, uh, the uh, Windows Terminal uses Cascadia code font, which doesn't have the icons that oh my posh takes advantage of. So from there, you want to go to nerdfonts.com and you can actually download fonts that have those icons. So you can find one that you like. Um, I don't know, let's pick like this one here. And it's going to download a zip file, open that zip file, and you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, nerd fonts in here. So if you wanted for example, uh, Deja Vu Sans Mono Nerd Font with uh, Windows compatibility. You just double click it and then click uh, Install, and it's going to install that into uh, Windows. And now if I go back to my uh, Windows terminal here, you can go to Settings, and then you can do it per um, shell, or you can just go to Defaults, click Appearance, and this is where you can set your uh, font face. So I can set it to that Deja Vu Sans Mono Nerd font. Click Save. Um, and for some reason, that happened. So I'll select a different nerd font that I installed. <laughs> um, save this. And if I go back to um, this, you'll see that now I have um, the icons for Oh My Posh. So this is kind of the default Oh My Posh configuration. Um, and if you don't want to actually create your own configuration uh, or theme, as they call it, you can go to Oh My Posh, go to the docs, and then um, click themes here. And they have a whole bunch of themes, and they have all the um, pretty much all the examples of the themes here. So if I wanted like this clean, detailed theme, it's going to take you over to GitHub. And if you click raw, you can actually save this JSON file. So I'm not going to get into the details of um, setting up these themes, but you can customize this like crazy. Um, and we will just save that down to the desktop. So if I can find that. And now we have our clean, detailed OMP file stored on the desktop. And to actually use that configuration, what I'm going to do is I'll grab that path. So if we grab that. Uh, and copy that path. Um, if we go back to VS Code and on the OM, oh my posh um, command line, we want to use the config um, parameter to oh my posh. It's dash dash config, and then I can just uh, point to that uh, oh my posh JSON configuration file. And now, if I were to actually open a new terminal, you're going to see that it actually has a different um, a different look and feel now. And it has different data. It has like information about where I am, the CPU usage, memory usage, how long it took to run the previous command, and that kind of thing. So there's lots of configuration you can do, and there's lots of other themes you can try out. So um, 
uh, this has just been an example of kind of how to get Oh My Posh installed uh, into your Windows terminal and start using it and load up uh, themes and install Nerdfont. So if you like videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel.